Hey, what's going on everyone? Tony here with Tony's Vapes again. And today, we're going to be comparing a couple chargers. We're going to be comparing the i4 against the D4. And my cord just isn't quite long enough. But we're going to compare this one to this one, and we're going to see which one's better. And what we're going to be comparing that with is eight 18650 batteries. Four for the i4, four for the D4. I just pulled these out of the box and every single one of them, if you can see that right there, every single one of them are at 3.51 volts. And I checked that with a voltmeter. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn the camera around. We're gonna get up close to them and we'll have them at an angle for you guys. And we're gonna stick four batteries in them. We're gonna start with slot one, go all the way to four, and then we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see which one gets done first. So without further ado, let's dive up close, throw four batteries in each of them and see how long it takes them to charge them. All right, let's start stacking batteries. All right, as you can see here, so far, every single one of them are at one light, which it should be at 3.5 volts. This one over here, let's see, 3.57. 3.57, 3.57, 3.57. All of those are exactly the same. And I will be doing a review on this charger real soon. So now, all we do is wait. And I can look at this screen right here and find out exactly how long they've been charging. Well, guys, I tell you, if that's not definitive enough for you, <laughs> I don't know what is. Eight brand new batteries. Every single one of them started their life at 3.51 volts. And the digital charger obviously won the little race right there. I don't know what happened to this guy right here. But he, he freaked out and, yeah, he did just that right there. And, yeah, <laughs> whenever it does that, you got to pull that back. Wait for it to go off and then reset it and then let him go on and do his little old merry little thing. And he's still freaking out. So what I'm going to do, let's just go through the menus real quick. So on one, 4.2 volts, 5 hours and 54 minutes. 5 hours and 47 minutes on that one. 5.42 and 5.42. Those two finished exactly the same time according to this thing. So... Now that we know that it took almost six hours to charge this, these batteries, let's pull this one out. And I want to put this one in here and see what that reads. So right now we are at zero milliamp, 3.83 volts, and this thing cut it off. So yeah, this one, I've had this one for, oh, I don't know, two, three years it's I've had it since they come out let me put it that way and then this one here I just received this one from GearBest and I gotta thank Sarah for sending that to me so there will be a review on this charger I'll go through everything and uh, you know tell you guys what I think about it but I'm pretty sure you already know what I'm gonna say about it especially versus that one right there so let's go back up the big screen real quick alright y'all just gonna have to hang on for just one second because I have been waiting six hours for that damn thing to get done so that I can get me a toke off of this. Ooh, I've been waiting on this. Make sure that airflow is open. Man, look at all them bubbles. Ah, I feel so much better. <laughs> All right, guys, so there you go. If that doesn't give a definitive answer on which one of these charges is better, I honestly don't know what will. You know, this is compared the old version to the new version. They should, in theory, put the same milliamp into the battery. It should be 375 into each battery. But, like I said, this one right here, it's old. It's, uh, <laughs> Yeah, at night, those flashing lights, and then those will go solid. That blue light is unbelievably bright. 
on this one right here we don't have that problem and i'll explain more of that whenever i do the review on that charger so i thought this would be a fun little video you know shoot it it's something quick uh obviously the time lapse there's no way i was going to make you guys sit through six hours of video uh watching this thing i guess i could upload it all it'd take me forever to upload it and it'd take y'all forever to watch it and you guys wouldn't watch it <laughs> hell i may do it just to see if you guys actually watch it so guys there you go the i4 versus the d4 if you have the choice go out and get the d4 links in the description not only to the d4 that i got from gearbest but also the eight batteries that i got from gearbest those batteries I'm going to be testing intensively over the next week or so. And hopefully by then, I'll have an opinion on them. And I'll be able to give you guys some kind of review on those batteries. So for what they cost, you can't really go wrong. They're 30 amp batteries. And it's like 35 bucks for eight of them. So guys, as always, please give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, just post them in the comment section below. The charger and the batteries, links are in the description. And I want to thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.